The act of passing on Doctor Who's lead role is a weird one, since the actors are stuck in a limbo where they know they're on the way out, but they don't know who's going to take their place yet. Peter Capaldi however managed to figure out there was a monumental change coming for his replacement, thanks to a pair of trousers. Speaking at his final New York Comic Con panel as the incumbent Doctor, Capaldi revealed that he accidentally learned that the next Doctor would be female a few days before he was supposed to, thanks to, weirdly enough, a visit to his tailor I went into Paul Smith's, which is a very wonderful clothes shop in London where I buy my suits, and everybody knows me in there. And they said, we just got a call, they said, from the Doctor Who office saying, can we have a pair of Peter's trousers, but with a waist size 30 and I thought, I'm finished, I don't need any more trousers, because Doctor Who wears Paul Smith trousers, for the fashionistas among you, so they were obviously looking for a pair of trousers for the new Doctor Who to wear. And I thought, well, that can't really be a man with a 30 inch waist. That must be a lady then Capaldi got confirmation of his hunch a few days later, when he was called days before the announcement that Jodie Whittaker would become the show's first female doctor, and found out after calling the actress that she'd moved into a place a short walk away from him to prepare for filming Who in Cardiff but was unable to say hello without revealing she was his replacement. So there you have it one of the biggest changes in Doctor Who history, nearly done in by a pair of pricey trousers.